The Pentagon says a Russian convoy on its way to Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, remains stalled, in large part due to Ukrainian resistance. Officials in Ukraine say more than 2,000 civilians have died since the Russian invasion began, including more than 20 children, a claim that could not be independently verified. CBS 4's Deborah Alferon joins us with the very latest from the White House. Residents of a southeastern Ukraine city formed a human blockade to keep Russian forces out as airstrikes and heavy shelling continued Wednesday in several other cities throughout the country. We've seen videos of Russian forces moving exceptionally lethal weaponry into Ukraine. That includes cluster munitions and vacuum bombs, which are banned under the Geneva Convention. Wednesday, the United Nations General Assembly adopted a non-binding resolution condemning Russia and demanding its withdrawal from Ukraine. On Capitol Hill, Senator Lindsey Graham announced plans to introduce a resolution pushing for a war crimes investigation into Russian President Vladimir Putin. I'm hoping that Republicans and Democrats will speak with one voice when it comes to the rule of law, that what Putin is doing is a war crime. Today, President Biden told reporters it's too early to tell whether Mr. Putin is guilty of war crimes in Ukraine, but he did say that a future ban on Russian oil imports is not necessarily off the table. We're looking very closely at uh, what's happening in Ukraine right now, including what's happening to, uh, to civilians. Uh, we're taking account of it, we're documenting it, and we want to ensure, among other things, that there's accountability for it. The Biden administration has announced additional sanctions targeting both Russia and Belarus's military and certain technology exports, while the Justice Department launched a task force to crack down on Russian oligarchs and others who try to evade U.S. sanctions. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House. Lawmakers are hoping to pass billions of dollars in humanitarian